All right, welcome back. Uh, we're going to improve our query a little bit so that we can use page tokens uh, and get all the quotes. To be honest, in a real app, you may want to not get everything until a user scrolls down some. Uh, but in this app, I wanted to show you the next page token, and I didn't want to do all the UI things to scroll down. Uh, so we're going to show you the page token, uh, but, but we're just going to get them all, right? So let's go find our query for quotes. Uh, and we should have a to-do in here, check for more quotes via the next page token. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my if let again, uh, and I'm just going to say next page token is equal to uh, my movie quotes collection uh, dot next page token. I'm not sure why my autocomplete isn't helping me out, uh, but hopefully it'll work just fine. Um, so if I've got a next page token, I'm just going to print a little message for now uh, that just says uh, there are more quotes. Go get them. Uh, and then if I didn't have a next page token, uh, I would just say something like, uh, finished getting quotes. Uh, and if you wanted to, you could like print out, you know, what was the, what was the end count? Uh, so I could just say self dot, uh, movie quotes dot count. Uh, cool. So if I go ahead and run this, uh, it should actually tell me if there are more quotes to get or not. Oops. And I'm still on localhost. Uh, so if there are no quotes, uh, this chunk of code won't even run because it, it won't have any quotes at all. Uh, I'm going to switch over to my deployed version, which I know has uh, a whole bunch of quotes. Um, by the way, for this portion of the, uh, of the lecture, if you wanted, um, you could actually switch over, since I have a bunch of quotes on mine on Fisher DS movie quotes, you could switch over to my back end if you want to try that. But the problem is I use the same lecture in web, so I might actually take down the API. Um, but if you wanted to try it, uh, you're welcome to try switching over to, to my back end, um, just because then you'll see that there's a lot of quotes available, right? Uh, so there I've got a lot of quotes. Uh, I can see uh, a message that says, there are more quotes, go get them. If you tried to switch over to my back end, but I don't have it up right now, which that, that, might, that might make a lot of sense, uh, one thing you can do is you can use yours uh, with a very small limit, right? Uh, so we're testing the page token to know that there are more. Let's say that you put in just two, right? So you got you got two quotes. Hopefully you've got more than two. So it would say there are more quotes. Uh, go get them, right? Since I'm pointing to my back end, I'm just going to go ahead and use a big number. All right, so we've acknowledged that there are more quotes that we need to get, uh, and we've got a next page token for it. Now we need some way to actually do that. And so my goal is to call um, query for quotes again. Uh, and what I would really like to do is I'd like to pass in a parameter. I'd like to pass in uh, that next page token. So I want to pass this guy in. Now I can't just do that, right? Because it doesn't receive anything. But one nice thing you can do is you can actually like make a, an optional parameter. So what I can do is I can actually make an optional parameter. I'm going to call it page token, uh, and it's going to be a string. And by default, actually it's going to be an optional string, so it'll be question mark. And by default, it's going to be nil. So if I do this, I've now got an optional parameter uh, for page token that you can pass in. Uh, it just might be nil. Now the way you call this function is you don't, you don't just say page token. I'm going to let uh, um, <coughs> Xcode help me. You actually have to type in the name of the optional parameter. If you remember how optional parameters work, you have to pass in uh, the external parameter name. So I'm going to say the, pick, the page token when you call it next time is the next page token. So that's going to be one change that I'm going to make. And so that's actually kind of a cool thing that I can recursively call myself. Now, with what I'm currently doing, if I do that, um, I'm going to be blowing it away with whatever the most recent is. I, I don't want to do that. What I actually want to be doing is I want to be building it up, right? So I want to take whatever I had before and add to it the new movie quotes. And what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to, want to print out kind of like a running total. So instead of this message, you know, go get them, I'm going to say using page token to get more quotes. Uh, and I'm just going to go ahead and print out what the count is right now. What the heck, I'll just copy that from uh, below because I don't want to reinvent the wheel. Um, and then I'll just kind of see this count grow and grow and grow. Now there's another problem with what I've done is right now, um, if I do the query another time, um, my newest quotes are just going to get added to it. And if I do the query a third time, there's going to be more and more on there. So I need to somehow clear this off um, if uh, we're not using a page token. Um, so what I'm going to do is up here, 
Well, the first thing I should do is I should I should actually set the page token on the query, right? Uh, so they're going to pass in a page token. It turns out that if it's nil, nothing bad happens here. It just sets it to nil, which is which is nothing, right? So I'm going to set the page token, uh, and then I'm going to say, hey, if the page token uh, is nil, what I want to do is I want to take my self dot movie quotes uh, and I want to wipe it out, right? So there's a couple ways you could wipe it out. You could um, actually just create a new one. Uh, I'm going to choose to say remove all. Uh, remove all has an ability to keep the capacity. Sure, you can keep your capacity. I don't care. You're going to grow for me. That's just an efficiency question. So now I've done something really neat, right? So if I finish getting the quotes and there are more, uh, I acknowledge that there's a page token, and I recursively call this function as many times as I need until I get all of the movie quotes. So it's going to be fun. So I'm going to go ahead and run it. Uh, and with my back end, I've got something like 100 and looks like 127. Uh, you can see that it ran pretty quickly, right? So it, it went and got 30, um, and it had a page token. And it went and got 30 more, um, and then 30 more, and then 30 more. And then the last one, it only had seven. And you can see my log messages work just beautifully, right? So using a page token to get more quotes, um, I count each time 30, 60, 90, 120, uh, 127. If you wanted to be ridiculous, uh, you could set it to a really small limit uh, and run it again. Um, and it'll just uh, keep firing back and forth, right? So it's going to be getting a couple and firing back and getting a couple firing back. I don't recommend you do that because it's going to chew into your quota, your free quota each month. Uh, the max limit is 50. Um, these are pretty small items. If you wanted to just set it to 50, that'd be fine. That's probably more efficient. Um, I'm going to set it to 30 for no particular reason, right? So 30 is, I know, going to fill up the page, um, and so it's going to fill up the page. Again, if you were, if you cared about efficiency, you would probably make your app such that, like, you know, if you noticed a user scroll down and hit the bottom, then you would go get more. Um, I'm not going to do that here, uh, but that's something that, you know, if you're making a real app, you would definitely need to worry about. All right, so that's what I wanted to do for this time. I just wanted to show you that page token. I think it works out really slick that Swift lets you do optional parameters, um, and that's going to work out just beautifully uh, for what we want to do. Uh, come back next time, what we're going to do is we're going to work on, um, if you want to refresh this, like somebody changes it on the web client, uh, just do a pull down uh, to do a refresh. All right, see you next time. Bye.